Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna uh, go back to work on this 5.9 Magnum motor. Uh, I think we're gonna try to get the intake off and the other valve cover off of it and maybe the front, all the front dressing off of it. But uh, yeah, I'm going kind of slow with this. Normally, I'd have this thing apart in one night and be done with it, but I'm wanting to film show you guys the process so uh here we go we're gonna start now all right there she is yeah that's something i'm gonna show in another video here i picked these up today but all right what are we gonna start on now I think we should work on getting this intake off. It means this hose here has to come off. Little bypass hose. I thought I had the right tool to do that job. Uh, okay, I have a tool to do that job. I'm sure I'm probably in the way again. I need to zip this water pump off. It might make that easier to take out. Then we can watch the river water run out. back over here so we don't lose it. All right. Oh, those were tight. This looks like a new water pump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, water pump looks fairly new. I'm gonna hold on to it, too. Because I'm not using this front cover. Ooh, gotta get a wrench on that. I'm not using this front cover. I'm gonna use the front cover off of an LA motor. So hopefully, if I do everything correctly, when you look at this, well, that bolt too is gonna break. So when you look at this motor, there's gonna be a couple little clues that it's not an LA motor. Besides everybody watching my channel and being like me, broken magic motor. All five of you who are going to watch this video. Wasn't very nice. Do I need, need the right tool for the job? I don't have that right handy. So we'll use the tool that works. I don't understand why these are so tight like this. It's weird. Hmm. No 
silicone on the bolts. <coughs> and let's see if the zipper will get to work that one. Well, except for that one, we get a wrench for that one. And there's some silicone on that bolt. I guess it went through water, so. It's understandable. Boring. Well, we got it. Look at the dirt falling out of that, but yeah. Oh my God! Look at it. Look at it. Well, that's hilarious. Okay, but the bearings feel good in it. The impeller looks good. Everything looks good on it. So I'm gonna save this for future projects. Let's say five, because I'm cheap at it. All right. Save that too. All right, so water pumps off. the stuff that happens when you're dealing with old engines or bolt break should be able to get it out of there with some heat and it's gonna have that much of a head on it so it broke right at the top I'm not concerned I am concerned about that Breaking up all this dirt. 
I'm going to do it on both sides. And then I'm going to grab my shot back and suck it out of there. But I'll probably do that. Probably pause the camera for a minute doing that because it'll be loud. through water you know you got water running right here and right here I'm guessing those were all rusted up and nasty I know what you're gonna say oh when he had the camera off he probably went through and broke all those loose with the ratchet you can right that's what I did To make filming a little faster and easier. Movie magic. Cut. Oh, wait, cut me stop. We need to stop it yet. It's almost three in the morning. We're going. Just got off a good live with Ruben. I like Ruben. How's it going, Ruben? Muscle City Madness, check him out. Is it Muscle City Madness? I think it is. This is Mr. Hyde Roadrunner. Right. I don't know if this little bar is going to do it for me or not. Where's my hammer? bigger bar in there. Is that on your heat tank? I don't have to on the head. I'm sitting there trying to pry the head off. Be a spot. <laughs> takes a little per swing. I think it's going to take more than the Baby mallet here. All right. You wanted to go there. Oh, it didn't have to be like this, Mr. 59360. Just remember, it didn't have to be like this. That's a good thing about these. If those would have been on an LA block and these bolts would have broke, it might have been a real pain in the ass because the LA blocks go in at an angle 
and that wouldn't have wanted to lift up, but since these magnums go straight up and down, it's not a problem. Uh, I think you know what's going to happen next. Let's just get prepared for it. Because this is a bunch of crap I'm never going to use again, so. Uh, yeah, yeet! Yeah. Side, except for the dirt, the actual dirt, dirt, not oil dirt, or but there's no sludge on the inside of this motor. That's not sludge, that's just oil. I am, I am happy. I've seen these built up with sludge and nastiness. Well, both of those 318s I took apart were full of sludge and nastiness. I am pretty happy. I mean, even this spider, you know, it's got a little build up back here, but it's nice. My arm in the way, kind of. Well, YouTube friends, I think we're pretty good here. I think we may have got a good motor. So far, so good. But yeah, see how these broke? Yeah, you can see, look at that. Oh, that's all rusted up there from the water. We'll get her, we'll get her. Get this gasket off of here. Yeah, that'll be, I, once I get the heads off, i just put some heat to those, and I may actually just have my machinist do it, because I'm lazy. Gotta check these heads. Because the cracks, these heads crack, the cracks don't matter, honestly, don't matter a damn bit. But if I could come up with two that aren't cracked, then, you know, I'll use those two. I would rather mess with two that aren't cracked and you don't have to explain to the machine that, yeah, I know they're cracked. Where are we at? Can you see that? Well, not quite. Hook this up just a little bit more here. Yeah, you'll be able to see me take this valve cover off. Dirt. I'm glad I'm glad I'm rebuilding this motor. All that dirt would really bother me. Like I'd have taken it to the I'd have taken it to the car wash ahead of time. If I wasn't rebuilding this motor, I would have taken this thing to the car wash and power washed it off, but And she's getting rebuilt. We're not going to worry about it. Yeah. I'm happy with this motor so far. I couldn't be happier. I mean, we'll know a lot more once the 
heads are off and everything, but right now we're looking good. We're really looking good. Enough to make a fat old man giggle. Especially for the price. Wanting to think if you would have had a truck or something. You know, if you wanted to replace the motor in, this might have been a good one. Might have been a good start. Didn't break. Wow. One of these is gonna break. You ain't getting these. Ooh, don't fall in there. That's something I don't want to fall in there. You're not gonna get these exhaust manifolds off. Without well, there's one that's going. And that's just on the shield. They're saying some of these exhaust manifolds are special. I don't know. They ain't special enough for me to keep them. Not for what I'm doing. I mean, I'll keep them. Especially if they're special, but... Hmm. But I know what you are. But what I was saying is they're not they're not special enough for me to use them on this duster, but like I said before, if I get a hold of a Dakota or something. And I'll be damned. All right, I gotta see how the camera angle's looking because you probably can't even see what I'm doing there. Good a little bit. Let's move back. Tilt up. There we go. Yeah, I'm working on getting this. Uh, You can't lose enough right now. I 
controller, you don't need a tracker. You're gonna be a 12. Oh, okay. Now, there's a really good chance that socket ain't coming back off of that bolt. I'm not that worried about it. Because I'll get it out later. And if you're anything like me, you've got enough 12 millimeter sockets to last forever. Your sockets never get lost because they hardly ever get used. Yeah. 
if, 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 if. Okay, got that shot done. See how lucky we get on the other side. Not very lucky. Alright, I'm gonna take a break for a minute, guys. We'll be back. And we're back. Well, that one felt like it was going to break. See, this is about the scariest part because you don't want to break bolts. There we go. You know, you don't want to, but it's going to happen. Just like these two here. It's, it's going to happen. Just no fun when it does happen. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Think the Muppets will sue me for doing that? I mean, Jim Henson, he ain't sued nobody. See me 
step back. I knew that shit was gonna happen. You guys wanted to see that thing swing down and hit me in the nuts, didn't you? Yeah, I know. I'm too smart for all that. Maybe. Well, that was uh, uneventful. Getting the uh, exhaust manifolds off. I like that. I like that. Now, what size are these? extension for that. And I don't know what happened to my Schmedium extensions. Hmm. Oh well, I got a wobbly head of ratchet. I should be able to get in there and get it. I might be saving that because I may go um, serpentine a belt on the race car and I could do that in the alternator. So that may, may stay around a while. Thirty-two millimeter socket. Or I think inch and a quarter. I think. Yeah. Thirty-two millimeter or inch and a quarter. Look at them. I'm going to try this, shock this bolt off of here without spinning the engine over. It went flying. Didn't work. I'm going to try it again. Now, I have screwed up these threads before. What is that? Never seen that little piece of plastic before, but I'm guessing it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What I'll say is I have a tap, but it's at the house. I need to bring it in. That will... Yeah, I need to figure out how I'm going to do that, too. Probably like this. Just like that. But, I have a tap at the house, and I'll, uh, maybe in the next video, I'll look it up and see what size tap you need for that, because you can screw these up if you 
put the harmonic balancer puller in there and don't have something like a bolt to press against it. It'll press down in there and screw those threads up. I learned that a long time ago. And being a machinist, I get taps, so. All right, I'm gonna go dig out my harmonic balancer puller and uh, see what we can do about getting him off. Now that may not be the prettiest harmonic balancer puller in the world, but it should work. It's worked every other time I've used it. And there you go. That's how you do that. In case you wanted to know. Alright, well, while we're down here. Slave to a battery. Certain people will get that joke. Okay, let me hit my battery. I want to load Jesus again with these. I could almost swear that the guy who put these in cross threaded every one of them in, but when I look at them and I'm done, they're not cross threaded. You go somewhere where I won't lose you. You're an important bolt. Most all these other ones, I got extras. Oh, look at the river water coming out of it. You know, it don't look like there's much antifreeze in that water. Thinking that might be why these all seized up up here. Because somebody liked to put river water in their engine. Alright. At least it's not rusty. Pretty sure when I pop the freeze plugs out of this, it'll be rusty, but maybe not too bad. Just like fucking river water. Unless maybe there's a blown head gasket. That could be. But that's not real oily, though. Give me a taste of that. Huh? No, that looks that's it's got a little bit of antifreeze in it, but it's not like milkshake oily. I don't know. I know more when I drain I haven't drained the oil out of this thing yet. When I drain the oil I know for sure that this thing might have had a blown head gasket, but I don't I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it. Okay. 
Not a floppy. Kind of stretched out. Glad I got a new one. I wouldn't rebuild a motor without changing the timer chain. Sorry. I would never go this deep into one without, well, you wouldn't really need to ever go this deep into one unless you were changing the timer chain. I'd show a comparison a little later. gone about as deep into this engine today as I want to get. If this is actually interesting to you, then check out for check out episode three when it drops. Uh, and uh, everybody. This is Brian, Dust Devil Garage, saying good night, and if you don't like the program, change the channel.